Okay guys, this one's just for fun. I saw this on the internet. Um, so what I've done is I've cut an orange in half. I've e eaten both halves. The, I've scooped it out with a spoon. So I intend to let this dry a little while. And then after that, I'm going to fill it with this olive oil. And I'm going to try to light this pulpy center here. And see if it burns. According to the uh, Facebook post, It'll burn for hours, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so this time I went and got a real wick from one of my tea lights and I cut that pulp out so it wouldn't burn. <clears throat> but I add a little bit more oil to it. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see if it burns. Okay, so I've melted all the paraffin wax out of the wick, or tried to. Okay, since okay, since the tea light um, wick didn't work, I assume because it's filled with paraffin wax and it won't absorb any more oil, I decided to roll this paper towel up. This should absorb the olive oil very quickly. And it should work. Um, I just need a way to figure out how to make it stand up in the uh, in the olive oil. Okay, well, while I'm trying to get my orange light to work, I just want to show you this. My wife's making it. This is a snooze can she's using. Uh, one of my friends has a bad habit. She's going to put olive oil in here and she's got a string that's going to soak up the olive oil and it goes through a hole in the cover. And uh, we'll see if it works. Okay, I've got a shape like this. Hopefully this will stand up. I'm going to trim this side a little. And I'm going to trim this a little. Hopefully I can get it to stand up in that olive oil. Okay. okay I'm going to add some more olive oil to that so that as this absorbs it, it doesn't run out. Okay, I can see it's already starting to soak up that oil. Should just take a couple minutes. Okay, here we go. First test. We go. You can poke it down in there too. It's fine. Don't touch it. Don't it's too long. It's too long, Joe. Why? Because it's gonna it's gonna flame up just like mine did. It needs to be like a candle wick, just like down let here. It 
Just let me try it. Okay, it's my experiment. All Don't right, be controlling go. it. Hopefully we won't burn the house down. Mine's a complete success, just so we're clear. It's lit. Now do you see why you need to turn the wick down? Beautiful. Actually, you're burning through that wick pretty quick. Maybe you didn't let it soak long enough. Oh, is that what I should have done? Maybe. Because when it's burning down... Actually, I think it's stable. Very nice. Nice little tool. So yours works. And mine works. So mine takes minutes. Yours takes a little longer. Um, I made this. Well, that was already <laughs> made. Just want you to know that. Yeah, but I, I just made the wick just now out of paper towels. One, yours is utilizing something that you're not going to be able to find, like... A paper towel, oil, and any kind of container. This happens to be an orange rind. Okay. What about you? What about you and your container? Are you going to be able to find, find a snooze can anywhere? Hey, you never know. It's nice. Nice, oh, nice no. job. Why is my flame dying? Yeah, I don't know. I'll relight it and see how long it goes. Do you Maybe want the it? hole's not big enough. Fuel's not getting to it. I think That's it's good. fine. I mean, we'll let it burn and see how long it burns for. Well, it's clearly going out. Of course, mine's not. Awesome! Orange rind, olive oil, and a paper towel. Boo yeah! Jill's lesser I think uh, candle. The, uh, I think it's the fuel, the fuel source. Oh uh, yeah, how come the fuel source works perfectly in mine? Because mine's not getting there. I don't know. For some reason. Maybe if you had a lighter oil. Did they tell you to use olive oil? Or did they tell you to do something else? Because I just got to tell you. I invented this on myself. I mean that's my wick. That's my design. Nobody told me how to do it. Nobody told you what, how to invent a wick? I mean. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alright. I uh, came up with the name wick myself. <laughs> I, I patented it. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to show you guys, this one is still burning. It looks like it just burned down to a rate that it was, uh, it's natural rate, and it's it's not going out, it's just burning very low, so. Nice job, Jill. Not as nice as mine, but nice Why job. Why is bigger always better? <laughs> bigger know. is always better, everybody knows that. What if you're trying not to attract, like, some aborigine peoples? <laughs> Yeah, you still want to maintain a candle. I guess you're screwed then, aren't you? Okay, my wife made me know that the wick did fall over because I did just trim it with these scissors and I knocked it over. She says that's a design flaw. You did not knock it over. It fell over because it was off balance like 30 seconds <laughs> after you trimmed it. It had nothing to do with trimming it. Yeah, whatever. How come it was up before I trimmed it? I don't know. It's a design flaw. You'll have to work on it. It's, not a design. it's part of the research process. It's, it's totally awesome. That's what it is. Jill's is apparently a windproof design. <laughs> Very nice.